There has been a counter sting operation against James O'Keefe and his uh, very questionable organization, which is known to do uh, conservative sting operations against liberal organizations. Now, this sting operation was done by Lauren Windsor at The Undercurrent, and she did an excellent job. Uh, it turns out that she found that O'Keefe was trying to figure out if he could pay progressives money to disrupt Donald Trump's inauguration and so uh, she did her own sting operation and caught some of her people on tape. So let me give a tiny bit more context. Uh, so uh, it's uh, this woman named Allison Moss who's trying to infiltrate uh, Russ Feingold before in Hillary Clinton's campaign. We, Allison, I got news for you, we already know what you look like. <laughs> okay, So here she tries to do it again so that they could paint liberals as being violent. Yes. Now it's not like they know that that's the case, but they're in fact they try to incentivize them with money. Yes. So they're trying to catch a liberal going, yeah, I'll take money in order to be violent. But there's no such thing. So <laughs> when they reach out to Ryan Clayton, who is going to be the person you're going to see in the tapes, etc., Lauren Windsor, then uh, who uh, who works with American Family uh, Voices and and in this particular counter sting worked with Americans Take Action, mm -hmm. uh, did did a counter sting and she taped it because normally they edit the tapes. Project Veritas does put a misleading thing out there, and the Republicans go, "That's it. We're going to shut down Planned Parenthood or right, Acorn, Acorn, et cetera." Mm -hmm. Well, uh, too bad in this case they taped it as well. Uh, the liberals did. So let's take a look at the first thing that's been released. Like, what is you the scale of resources? resources? What is it that you want to see happen? Yeah. So, um, I mean, we just want to see the biggest impact. You like to turn on TV and maybe not even see. I think that would make him ultimately the happiest and okay. wanting to open up his wallet. He gives the money to you and says, do whatever you want with it. I tell you, this is what's going to happen. Are you going to be like, yes, that's what we want to fund? Yeah. I'm saying with the bridge, like 10 people are going to go shut down a bridge. Yeah. Is that what you want to fund? Yeah. You want uh, us to come back and say, that was amazing that you shut down that bridge. You showed us that you Yeah, and we gave you five hundred thousand dollars to do that, and that's exactly what we want. Yeah. Well, I think the one thing—I mean, the one thing I would say about that is there is a philosophy of nonviolence, almost like a spiritual philosophy of nonviolence, right? They're nonviolent people. Oh, so I love this. I know. So Allison Moss is talking to Ryan Clayton there. Those are the two voices that you hear. Allison is pretending to be from a liberal donor yes. who is going to fund riots and, and and seeing if Ryan will say, "Oh, great, we'll riot." Except Ryan says, no, we're not buying people, and yeah. he knows they're doing a counter sting. So, but what he gets Allison to say on tape, because she was that's the whole point of her operation, is yeah, you shut down a bridge, which by the way, you know, we'll have the authorities sort out, but it is potentially illegal in, in Washington, DC to do that. Mm -hmm. And to cause disturbances, which is also potentially illegal, the authorities will sort it out, and I'll pay you for it. That is a not only Deeply problematic legally, but think about it for a second morally. What if it worked and they started a riot? Mm -hmm. Jesus, what are you doing? That's not a sting operation, that is incredibly dangerous. So here are conservative groups posing as liberals trying to start violence in the streets on inauguration day. Right. So they can turn around and say that uh, liberals and progressives are violent, look what they're doing. So it's a way of smearing them, it's a way of Look, we see this happening with all sorts of political movements that conservatives don't agree with, right? Occupy Wall Street. Uh, they'll send provocateurs to the camps in order to make it seem as though, oh, the people who are protesting are violent individuals. They're they're looting. They're they're rioting. That's not what happens. There's usually a provocateur that's been paid to show up and do that, um, and we we see it happen time and time again. So. I don't know if their intention was just to get progressives on tape and then release it prior to inauguration day to say, ah, oh, look at that, they were willing to take money in order to cause a riot or shut down a bridge, or if they were really going to let it get that far. By the way, I don't even think they'd be able to find progressives that would take money to do something like that. Well, they couldn't. They right? tried and they couldn't find any. So, um, but there's only 12 days before the election. So whatever they were planning, what if somebody, some unbalanced person actually went and did it? Right. And then, oops, oh, sorry, we were trying to be cutesy and play a prank on a national level, and you set off this kind of thing. So it's beyond unacceptable. Now, our exclusive on this 
is on our own Eric Byler, uh, uh, who is producer on TYT Politics, uh, caught up with Ryan Clayton immediately after uh, the Sting operation, and he also has uh, exclusive background footage on uh, Lauren Windsor and 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 the uh, the folks who did the counter sting as they look through the tapes, et cetera. So all of it is on youtube.com slash TYT politics. I want to show you a, a part of this exclusive that we have today. Let's watch. Do you, do you think that it's, it's okay to pay people to commit crime? Isn't that what you do? You set people up that way? You offer money to them to commit crime? You know that's illegal, right? Some of the things they said tonight sounded pretty illegal to me. You know, when she when she got confronted at the end of the night, she said, I feel like I need a lawyer. To me, what that says is, I think I did something illegal. So what was she trying to convince you to do? Well, they sat down and essentially offered to pay us, you know, tens if not hundreds of thousands of dollars to disrupt the inauguration with potentially violence, uh, potentially like blockades. Um, and we have the whole audio and video that we can release. He knows what he wants, dot, dot, dot. You know, he knows what he wants, and he knows what he wants to spend, are the two things. And so, he knows what he wants to spend. And then she says it, she says, um, he definitely wants to spend. He definitely wants to spend. What he and does. so, and then she trails off, and then Ryan goes, and so. What I want from you is kind of what is his expectation, like what does he want to see, you know? What is his expectation? So, what do you want to see? Want? Well, for short term, we'll be in on break. In the short term? Well, for short term, we'll be in on break. Normally, they would take that video and, you know, cut it up, deceptively edit it. You know, they would say something, and then I would agree, and then they would leave that out, that they had been the ones that said it in the first place. That's their kind of MO. But in this case, they can't do that, right? Because we got the whole video. We got the whole audio. They're trying to pay people to break the law at inauguration. That is against the law. So there's several different parts of this. One is the, the dinner conversation they have. And again, uh, the undercurrent has released some of that publicly already. Ryan Grimm at Having the Post has written about that. We just covered that for you guys. Uh, then there is the part where they then catch up to her and they, they're at the table. And you can find out more about that on youtube.com slash TYT politics as Ryan explains it for a longer period. And somebody comes down and sits down and goes, Allison, now here's what you did. And she goes, oh, I want a lawyer. She thinks there's some chance that she thought that it was a sting operation by the cops or by the FBI. Oh, I okay? see. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so, and, and then, you, so there's that second part there. And then there's more and more to come. So you can watch more on youtube.com slash TYT politics. Also watch it on the undercurrent uh, as, as Lauren Windsor uh, American Family Voice and Americans Take Action are the ones who broke this story. So uh, great work by them to expose how this actually goes down and the dirty tricks that the conservatives play. And what's really sickening to me is how the Republican Party goes along with this. Because mm -hmm. the first two times that, that O'Keefe did this, with ACORN and then with Planned Parenthood, he did a bunch of others. He's also in legal trouble down in Louisiana for another so-called thing he tried to do where it appears his group again broke the law. So that got adjudicated. But, mm -hmm. but the two major ones are ACORN and Planned Parenthood. And both of those, the Republican Party loves it, even though it is proven that they deceptively edited the, the material. Even Republican attorney generals go, no, actually, I need to arrest you, not the people that you were doing this thing on. The, the Republicans still go, nope, that's good enough evidence for us. Let's defund ACORN, which they did. And the Democrats are so weak, they helped them defund ACORN. It is so pathetic. And on Planned Parenthood, at least the Democrats are fighting back. But Republicans right now have a plan to kill Planned Parenthood based on false doctored evidence. So they were trying that again right now, and now they've been busted. So And you, you see exactly how they play this game. You know who's going to stop Trump, stop the establishment, stop the corruption? You are. You help us hire new investigative reporters, and we will unleash it on them. TYTnetwork.com slash go. Let's build the best journalism team in America.